Welcome to another episode of Game Time, presented this week by New Senda Credit Union. I'm JP Murrieta, and this week we're at Oak Grove Classical Academy out on their soccer field with their soccer team and head coach Miles Shiver. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. What a year it's been for your program, 12-1-1 one one overall on top of the rankings. What kind of season has this been? Oh, it's just been uh, amazing. We've, it's a culmination of a lot of years of hard work and a really good melding of, of a lot of different levels of talent so it's been great you've been on top of the max preps rankings does that put a target on your program and how has the team kind of responded to that number one ranking well i think that uh, it definitely puts a target on us we anytime you're at the top people are trying to take you down and i think the team has responded really well i think we've responded with some confidence but also some some uh, gumption and some attitude a little bit with it so it's it's been good watching the team play one thing that stands out is the speed of some of your players. Is that the biggest attribute with this squad? Uh, I don't know if it's the biggest one. It's definitely one of them. I think our biggest attribute is just our ability to work together. If you, if you look at our statistics, we have a lot of goal scorers. We have a lot of people that are, that are really dangerous offensively, and it's a team effort. So that's definitely our biggest asset. And Oak Grove only has one soccer team, so you have boys and girls on the same squad. How has the group meshed and played together? Uh, very well. I think the girls uh, are brave. I think it's awesome that the, the girls on the team, most of them start and are working really hard to contribute to the team and perform exceptionally well, I think surprising people a lot of times. Another player that you have on your squad, one of the state's leading scorers, Ivan Moore. What should people know about him? Uh, don't underestimate him when you first see him. I think that's the, the biggest thing. He's not very big in stature, but He's, he's dangerous. Your only loss is a double overtime defeat at the hands of Sandia Prep, five to four, double OT if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. How do you match up and would you like another shot at him sometime in the near future, oh, which is coming? Absolutely, <laughs> we, um, we feel like that's, that, that win is in our grasp. Um, that was a very tight game, obviously back and forth. I don't know if you saw the, the score line, but they scored, we scored, it went back and forth. It was a great game. Uh, we didn't come out on top, but we're anxious for the next opportunity. You have the, your next opportunity won't come for another week or so. You right. have a week in between games. What do you work on with the group? What do you take that time to do? Uh, we're we're working on uh, tactics. We're working on specifics with teams that we've played before. We've played Rehoboth and Sandia Prep already, so we we have a good idea of what we're going up against and getting prepared to play them specifically, and also getting a little bit of rest. We've been we've been at it pretty hard for the last couple of weeks, and we're anxious for a little bit of a break. What sort of goals did you set for this team at the beginning of the year, and is winning the state championship something you guys talk about? Uh, it is something we talk about. I think uh, bigger than that is we're here to, to represent the Lord well, represent our school well, uh, work hard together, and, and uh, do everything we can to worship the Lord through soccer. That's our number one goal. Uh, but yeah, we'd like a state championship. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that would be fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, so far, so good. Keep up the good work. Thank and you. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more game time after this. Are you living the life of an athlete? The New Mexico Activities Association brings you Life of an Athlete, a resource for students, educators, and parents to understand the challenges students face. Athletes, one night of drinking will negatively affect your athletic performance for two weeks and athletes who drink or do drugs are twice as likely to get injured. Alcohol's effects can reduce a high school athlete's potential by as much as 20 to 30%. Are you living the life of an athlete? Log on to the website to find out today. Hi, I'm Cooper Dierks from Oak Grove Classical Academy. Welcome back to Game Time. Welcome back to Game Time, presented this week by New Senda Credit Union. Last week in high school football, we saw some matchups that will be pivotal in the district standings. Here's a look at some of the winners and the highlights. Number one defending state champ La Cueva put up another big number. Quarterback Cam Dyer rushed for a 43-yard score against Los Lunas and threw for 376 yards and seven touchdowns in a 63-31 win. The unbeaten Bears take on the Trisco Heritage this week. 
Cleveland improved to 6 1 overall with a 55 0 shutout win over Cibola. It's the second straight week the Storm shut out their opponent. Cleveland is at Piedra Vista this week. The PV Panthers are coming off a road trip to Rio Rancho. The Rams held on for the 36 33 win. Rio Rancho is now 5 2 and taking on Volcano Vista this week. Volcano Vista started slow against Farmington, but turned on the heat in the second half for a 41-7 win. Elijah Hansen threw five scores. The Hawks are 6-1 on the year. Oregon Mountain has won four of their last five games, including a 42-24 road win at Clovis last week. Oregon Mountain takes on Centennial next. Carlsbad's Kaysen Perez threw for three touchdowns in their 26-21 win over Alamogordo. He has a school record 25 passing touchdowns on the year. Robertson remains unbeaten with a 28-26 win over rival West Las Vegas. George Smith had a kickoff return for a touchdown in this one. The Cardinals are 8-0 on the year. St. Pius sophomore quarterback Isaiah Carpenter had four touchdown tosses as the Sartans beat Portales 48-18. St. Pius has won three in a row and they travel to Chaparral this week. Dexter scored 30 second half points in their 44-29 win at Socorro. Dexter is 8-0 on the year and at Hot Springs this week. Bernalillo quarterback Uriel Castro threw for 343 yards and seven touchdown passes on the road at Aztec and they pick up a 62-12 win. Bernalillo remains unbeaten and they hit the road this week for a big game against number one Bloomfield. The Bloomfield Bobcats are coming off a 42-0 road win at Moriarty. Blake Spencer had four TD tosses. Unbeaten Bloomfield has not given up a point since week one of the season. In a battle of one versus two, Texco running back Alex Fuentes rushed for over 200 yards and three touchdowns in a 36-28 win over Eunice. Texco was down 21 to nothing at one point, but rallied for the win. Texco is a perfect 7-0 and on a bye this week. Hope Christian beat Pewaukee Valley 35-6. Braylon Williams caught seven passes for 200 yards and two touchdowns. He also rushed for a score. The Huskies are 4-4 four and, four and take on Robertson this week. Raton scored 30 points in the fourth quarter to beat Tucum Carey 51-25. Raton snapped a three-game losing streak in the process. They host Capitan this week. Albuquerque Academy receiver Gage Conway caught five passes, four of them for touchdowns as the Chargers beat Manzano 57 to 26, Academy snaps a three game losing streak and they travel to Silver this week. Hi, I'm Miley from Oak Grove Classical Academy. Check out the latest football polls. My name's Brody Procknow from Oak Grove Classical Academy. We'll be back with more game time after this. At Jiffy Lube, we car about cars. In fact, we're kind of obsessed. It's why we've been taking car business with quick quality service for over 40 years. Are you saying car? That's right, Claire. And with things like our Carful Vehicle Review, where our experts check, fill, inspect, and clean your vehicle, you'll know we'll car for your car like we car for our own. Some people think it's just an oil change. Who cars? We do. We car. You mean care. Exactly. Jiffy Lou. <laughs> car more. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes. That'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail. Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously. Yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials across the country because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com.
Welcome back to Game Time, presented this week by Nusenda Credit Union. Coming up later this month is the first ever NMAA Marching Band State Championships. Schools from all over the state are excited to get that opportunity to lift the first ever Blue Trophy. It's creative, it's artistic, um, it's competitive. Um, as we're getting ready for the, the very first NMAA state contest, I um, mean, it's super exciting to be part of everything. It's definitely challenging sometimes to get everyone to pay attention and listen, but it's also really fun to be able to like see the final product. This is third movement all the way through. I look at percussion when they're pulsing, so they're going up and down, so they're pulsing, and I align my hands with those movements. It's when you get 65 people, 70 people all together, um, and they're doing something for the same cause. It's just really amazing, and so you feel great about it. Can they be doing the same thing accurately every single time? Um, uh, they're looking at difficulties, so how much body movement, how much athleticism are they putting into their music, and how are they separating those two? Is the music just as be beautiful, even though they're walking around, they're doing coordinated movements? I'm really excited, because there's going to be a lot of bands there, and we haven't watched any bands yet, so I'm excited to see, like, Cleveland, Rio Rancho, La Cueva. It's been a long time coming, for sure. Um, a lot of support in our, uh, the upper executives of the NMMEA board um, who were pushing for this, and it's something that we felt was necessary, right? Being recognized for all the work that the students do. Um, we have some incredible bands in New Mexico. Uh, recognizing them on that sort of NMAA level is really incredible. So our peers over at Cleveland, Clovis, La Cueva, El Dorado, um, and having something where we come together and also recognize some of those schools that people may have not heard, uh, heard of yet. Um, up in the Farmington area, we have in the southwestern part of the state, and we're coming all together for the first time. The Marching Band State Championships will be held Saturday, October 26th at Rio Rancho High School. That's going to do it for another episode of Game Time presented this week by Nusenda Credit Union. Thanks for watching, and thanks for watching every week. Make sure you tune in next week because you never know where we're going to end up or who we're going to talk to or which team will be spotlighted, but you do know the place to find the most high school highlights is right here. We'll see you next time on Game Time.